Hello Bond fans and welcome to this uh, short update on No Time to Die, the 25th Bond movie. Um, it was recently announced by Barbara Broccoli and the filmmakers that um, we now have a name for Rami Malek's villain. Um, currently, his name is Safin, the villain who shall be the main villain of Bond 25 is known as Safin. Yes, so Safin, a very uh, interesting name, kind of unexpected, not not really anything I've heard before. Um, apparently, he's going to be a very nasty piece of work, and he's going to um, get under Bond's skin a lot, so I guess that means he'll be a very personal villain, maybe? Um, that quote was actually from Barbara Broccoli herself. Um, I'm really excited to see what Rami Malek's going to do with his character, um, and I really hope that he he delivers a fantastic performance. And I, I, I'm I am sure he will because he is a phenomenal actor. He did a great job in Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I think he was born to play a Bond villain. And um, Safin, I, I like the name Safin because it sounds um, creepy and uh, slightly mysterious. Like we don't really know this guy. Um, there is another potential theory that Rami Malek could be playing Dr. No. Um, I don't know where this theory came from. A lot of people had been discussing this on online and on social media. They had said that um, uh, they thought he could be playing Dr. No. One of the main reasons why um, they thought, I guess, because, because of the title of the movie, No Time to Die. So maybe Dr. No is featured in there. But also another reason... Uh, why they think potentially he could be Doctor No is because the movie has its callback to Jamaica, um, so there are Jamaican elements there. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know if we really need to revisit this character. I mean, Blofeld is different. Blofeld is obviously head of a big organization, and obviously he's one of Bond's um, arch nemesis, uh, if that's the right word to use. <laughs> Sorry, nemesis. I don't know what pl plural is for that. Um, so it made sense to have um, have a new actor for Blofeld, um, you know, in Christoph Waltz. Um, and of course, Christoph Waltz himself is returning for No Time to Die um, as Blofeld. So maybe, I mean, it's likely that Rami Malek's villain will be a part of Spectre anyway. So is Safin just a disguise name for Dr. No? Is he Dr. Safin No? Or is he Dr... Um, Julius Snow, um, and is just using the disguise name of Safin, like um, Blofeld used Oberhauser in Spectre. Maybe there is there is potential for that to be um, the case, but um, nevertheless, I'm I'm very glad that we now have a name for his character. And um, oh god, he's going to be so good! I just can't wait. I just I cannot wait. I think he's going to be an absolute. I think he's going to be an absolute star for this film. I really do. Um, hopefully, he's going to be one of the best Bond villains um, that we've ever had. But I guess we'll have to just uh, wait and see on that. But um, now those Doctor No theories are interesting. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I can quite believe that. I mean, me personally, I don't think I want him to be Doctor No. I want Safin to be his own character. I really, t I really don't want him to, to be a sort of disguised version of Doctor No. I d and you know, like how Blofeld was um, disguised in Spectre as Oberhauser, and then it was revealed uh, in a twist, in a well, a sort of twist, that he was in fact Blofeld. I mean, you know, I mean, they called the movie Spectre, so you know, it's not, it's not exactly, you know, it's it, it's not exactly a huge mystery. Um, but yeah, no, so this is exciting, this is exciting, um, I'm really glad, and on IMDb they have actually put his name on there, so they've, they've listed him as Safin, um, which is really cool, really, really great bit of news, and No Time to Die has officially wrapped, um, I thought filming it was done, uh, a few weeks ago, but clearly not, um, because there was a Twitter post from Carrie Fukunaga, uh, with a picture of him and Craig. Um, I think they were in Italy. I, I'm assuming they were. But they finished filming. So we're now into post-production, which is great. Um, so now we just wait. We wait for the trailer. And we wait for more trailers. Which sounds interesting. 
Currently on the IMDb cast list, the only person who hasn't been confirmed yet is Billy Magnuson. I mean, well, I mean, he's definitely in it, but we don't know his character. We don't know who he's playing, so... I guess we will uh, we'll find out that very soon, but um, we almost have a uh, full cast. Oh, actually, Dali Bansala. Um, the only thing I know about Dali Bansala... Ben, uh, sorry, Dali Bensala. The only thing I know about him is that he's probably going to be the henchman. Because I've seen I've seen pictures of him and Daniel Craig in a fight scene, um, so I'm assuming they're going to have a major bust up in this film, uh, which is going to be exciting. Um, a lot of it still remains uh, a mystery. Uh, there was that image of Daniel Craig that was uh, posted a while ago, um, and as you can see, <laughs> it's 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 a little odd, really. It doesn't look like. Um, it doesn't actually look like Bond. It, it, you know, he, he, it looks like he's working for a a railway or or a coal mine. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't really look like it's from the Bond movie. If that makes sense, um, it looks like he's working. Is is he like in Jamaica? Is he is he working in a Jamaican coal mine or a railway or something? I don't know. It's a little strange. Uh, it doesn't really <coughs> it doesn't really work for me. Um, but oh well, it's, it's whatever. It's still a cool image nonetheless. So I don't know at what point in the movie that's going to be, whether that will be at the beginning or near the end. But he's dressed down. He's just wearing a white shirt with some trousers, and he's got his gun holster. But he's not wearing a suit, which is slightly bizarre. But I know in other images, um, he does wear uh, a kind of like a white beige suit um, with a blue shirt, and he also wears his grey suit as well. So. He's going to have a range of suits to wear for this film, um, so it's very exciting. Anyway, sorry, going off topic. Um, I just wanted to share that because that was they're the latest pieces of news that we've got. Nothing much, but they're the first things since the poster. So yeah, what do you think of um, this news and Rami Malek's uh, villain's name? And do you think Rami Malek could be Dr. No, or do you think he is going to be something else, or someone else? Or, well, we know he's going to be something else, but we don't know who exactly he is. I think the teaser trailer might give us an insight into that, but um, then again, we didn't really know much about Christoph Waltz um, until the main trailer. Um, although, to be fair, it's pretty obvious that he was Blofeld. I mean, there's, there was no, there was no real mystery around that. But um, if if they are, I mean, they're bigging this character up. So all we know about him is that he's sort of a eco-friendly villain which is slightly bizarre but i mean well okay if it works it works but um yeah and what would you like to see in no time to die would you like to see um rami malik be dr no or would you like to see him be his own character me personally love him to be his own character but the name is safin and he is here to stay <laughs> so uh, thank you all for listening to this video and stay tuned for further updates on No Time to Die as we head into post-production. Woo! Yay! I can't believe it's nearly the end of October. We have uh, so November, December, January, February, March, April. We have about six months to go. We have half a year. Half a year to go until we get this film. So full steam ahead, I say. <laughs> I cannot wait for this. This is going to be fantastic. Anyway... Thank you very much all for listening. I'm Mr. Thomas Levin. See you soon.